Hi damsels, it's Herwan here. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a small Disney haul, nothing too crazy about what I've bought in the last couple of weeks. I usually wait until I have a good amount of things to share with you all to make it into a video. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably have already seen these. I just like to do it on here, just in case you're not following me on there. So that's basically what this video is gonna be. It's just me showing you what else I bought, what else is new. This is literally my life now, just spending money on on everything. If you notice, I'm still in this room. I still haven't started moving my things into the new room. I am planning on capturing the entire process especially like organizing the room. I think that's what I'm gonna mostly focus on filming. Filming when I have the shelves up and basically just me organizing the shelves and having you there watching the process. So stay tuned for that. It's happening. It's just happening slower than I expected. So the first thing that I wanna share with everybody is my Pocahontas White Woodland Jim Shore figurine. A lot of you do know that Jim Shore is coming out with a lot of new figurines and one of them that came out in the month of June was Pocahontas in the White Woodlands collection. So let's look at her because she's beautiful. Again, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably have already seen this. I literally unboxed her on Instagram and you guys saw my initial reaction. I was blown away. She's beautiful. So let's look at her beauty. So here she is. She is absolutely beautiful. I love the way that Jim Shore captured her. There are a couple of other Pocahontas figurines. I think there's one out there where she's like standing, but I feel like her likeness in this one is a lot more of what she looks like in the movie. I also love that she has Miko on her shoulder as well as Flit, and she's holding her beautiful necklace that was her mother's, and she also has the little bangle on her arm as well. And if we move down, you see that she's wearing her dress. You see the, the Jim Shore swirls all over her dress as well. She's kneeling down and there is a rabbit and I think a chipmunk right next to her. And I just seriously love the way that Jim Shore made this. I didn't take off the Jim Shore Disney Traditions tag. And she's sitting on the stump that she always sits in front of when she's in front of Grandmother Willow. I'm so glad that he decided to make her. Look at her hair so long. You could see her little toes in the back. She just looks so stunning, so beautiful. I'm so glad that I was able to add her to my White Woodlands collection. So the next portion of this video, I'm going to be sharing what I bought from Cakeworthy. So, okay, a couple of weeks back, Unique Vintage came out with a Disney collection, and I guess Unique Vintage has been partnering with Disney partnering with Disney a lot because I see a lot of Disney pieces on Unique Vintage. So at the time I was going to order them from Unique Vintage but um, I guess because they were out for a week or so a lot of the sizes were out of stock. So I went to Cakeworthy because Cakeworthy is usually where you find these pieces and I was able to get them from there. This is the problem with me. When I order something I forget what I order and then when it comes in I'm like oh my god I ordered that and I completely forgot. So I got three shirts and one suspender dress kind of thing. So you guys have probably seen these already. This is like the style that Cakeworthy comes out with. They'll take a Disney movie and basically put it on a t-shirt and all of the characters are all over the shirt repeatedly. So this is actually one of their newer designs and when I saw it, I wanted to get it. And actually, I missed out on the Cinderella one that was this design and I'm so angry at myself for not ordering it because that one was like a really bright pink. I love the colors on that one. But for some reason, I never ordered it. Hopefully they bring it back. They do bring back styles I guess seasonally so just like keep your eye out for that but um, this is their newest design which is their Aurora shirt and it has Aurora on it it has the rabbits the owl um, what else is in there the birds but yeah it's basically all over the shirt I did order this in a medium and I still think it's super big for a medium. I think it's gonna be a little loose, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. But yeah, how cute is this? I love the colors on this one. It's like a coral, a lot of blue. I really like it. It, it works really well. Sometimes these designs don't always come out great. Like for example, their Lion King one. I don't really like their Lion King one, but I still bought it because 
I don't know, I like The Lion King. But yeah, they did a really good job with this one. So that was the first one that I got in that style. So the second one that I got in this style was their villain one. I have seen this floating around like previously, but I never was able to get it because it's sold out, which is usually what happens with these designs. So I ended up picking this one up because wait for it. Wait for it. Hello there. <laughs> Hades is on the shirt. And that's really why I bought this shirt, because Hades is on it. So this is obviously all the villains. There's Ursula, Maleficent. We have the Evil Queen. We have Dr. Facilier, Cruella de Vil. And I just really love the fact that Hades is included in this, because Hades... I don't know, he's forgotten. Look at the Evil Queen's like bone structure here. She looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is gonna be really cute to wear like during the Halloween season, especially like when I'm working in school with the kids and stuff. So I'm really excited that I picked this one up and I got it. Okay, last shirt that I picked up that is in the same style is their newest design. This just was released like a couple of days ago and when I saw it, I picked it up. I showed it to my friend Saria and I sent it to her and I said, look, you should get this, but she didn't really like the style and I, I, I get it. Like, it's, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I don't care. Even if something is ugly and like not perfectly executed, if it has this character on it, I'm gonna get it because again, she's like forgotten. Even though I feel like now she's not being forgotten, like they're make, she's making a comeback and Disney's like finally realizing her worth. But anyway, this is the one that I picked up. It's of Pocahontas, and you can see Grandmother Willow. There's Miko, Flit. It's so cute! They could have done better with the colors. I feel like they could have done like a Colors of the Wind kind of thing, like very colorful, like all the colors. But they decided to go with like this blue and like tan and beige and pink and gray and black. They could have done a better job with this. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you. But again, it's our girl Pocahontas. I had to pick it up. I seriously love it. I really like this style. I know it's like, it's a lot. It's it's definitely in your face. Um, any other person, I feel like if you're not a Disney fan, like you would not wear these shirts. Like they're way too obnoxious. But. I'm an obnoxious person, so it works for me. I'll link these down below if you guys like want to get them for yourselves. Yeah, they were $30 each, $29.95, so there you go. I just spent like, what, $90 on three shirts. <laughs> okay, last thing that I'm going to share, I, okay, so funny story, I just said that all of that cost $90, so Cakeworthy um, does give you free shipping if you spend $100 or more. So I was like $10 away from $100, so I was like, what's the point of paying shipping? Let me just buy one more thing to get free shipping. And I ended up picking this cute thing, and it is a suspender dress, and it is of Pinocchio. How cute is this? It would look so cute with like a white t-shirt, like a plain white t-shirt, or like a yellow plain t-shirt, or even blue will work. But yeah, it's just, it has suspenders. It's a suspender dress. And obviously, like, you would wear it like that. I love this. I love it so much. I'll definitely be wearing this in Disney um, once I get to go back in five years. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to be. But I'm definitely going to be doing a Pinocchio bound. I'm going to have to find some Pinocchio ears. But how cute is this? I love, 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 love this so much. I actually really like suspenders. I need to wear them more often. I got this in a large. Large is usually what I get for dresses and stuff like that. So I think it's going to fit me pretty well. It has like yellow buttons over here. It's super cute. So this was, how much was this? This was $35. Totally worth it. Okay, so that was all the apparel that I got from Cakeworthy. So now we're going to move on to another shop. So this is actually a small shop. And again, if you're following me on Instagram, you already know what this shop is. I have shared it on there multiple times. I shared it when I found the shop. I shared it when I got my shipment in. So this shop is called Task Creation Studio. It is an Etsy shop, a small shop that sells Disney art prints. She also does do commissions. So if there's something on there that you don't 
really like, which is highly unlikely because she has so many different designs. She has so many different pieces. It's really hard not to find something that you're not gonna like. You're, you're gonna like it, trust me. So I wanted to share with you guys the prints that I got from her. So as you all know, I am in the process of moving rooms, moving Disney rooms. I am not gonna be filming in this room no longer. This is gonna, this is actually Sophie's room now, um, but I still haven't like, been able to move stuff so I knew that when I was gonna get a big shelving system to put all of my Disney stuff on it I wanted to put some like Disney art prints all over the shelf because I love Disney art that's actually one of my favorite things to buy that has to do with Disney I do consider Jim Shore figurines as art so anything to do with like Disney figurines or Disney art prints Disney paintings any of that sort I love so much so when I found her I immediately fell in love with her pieces and I want to share with you guys which pieces I bought. She does reside in the UK, but I have to tell you guys she shipped it super fast and it did it came to me so quickly. I think she shipped it like 2 days after I placed the order and she's seriously a sweetheart like I've talked to her. She's amazing. I'm gonna link her down below. If there's anything that you see in this video that you liked, I highly recommend going to check out her shop. Her pricing is so inexpensive. I think it was like $6 for one art print, which is nothing. Like, people sell art prints for way more than that. So I think for the price that you're paying, you're getting an awesome deal. So let's go look through all of the art prints together. So since we've been on a Pocahontas theme this video, I decided to start with this one. So I did get this in a 5x7, and before people start accusing me of not liking John Smith, you're right, I don't like John Smith. I don't really like him as her love interest, but I really love the way that she captured both of them in this, and I think I'm actually going to ask her to draw Pocahontas with John Ralph, because if you know me personally, you know that I do not like Pocahontas with John Smith. I don't like him. I just don't think that he's right for her. John Rolfe is definitely the one for her. Don't fight me on this. Jossim, don't even try. <laughs> so I decided to get this because I do have a couple of Pocahontas pieces that I'm going to be putting on my shelf and I wanted to incorporate art with those pieces and this was definitely one that I needed to get and I do have to say there is no glossiness that usually comes with an art print usually when art small shops make prints of their actual work they'll just use the glossy photo paper I don't know what she used but I love the fact that it's not glossy all right let's move on to another Disney couple so I saw Snow White and whatever his name is I don't know what his name is Prince Ferdinand I think this literally looks like the scene from the movie sometimes when artists draw characters they put like their own little I guess spin on it but this looks exactly like the scene in the movie which I really liked so I ended up picking this one as well here is another Disney couple we see Ariel and Eric I have so many pieces of this scene I have it in Funko form I have it in Jim Shore form so I wanted to get the art print for it as well so I can display it so cute so this is not a Disney couple but I love the fact that she drew them so Anastasia and Dimitri are one of my favorite couples I love Anastasia it's one of my favorite childhood movies I also do have Anastasia pieces that I will be putting on my shelf so when I knew when I saw that she drew them I had to get them and she did a beautiful job in capturing them I love the colors that she used I, I just love her style I love her take on these characters so much so here is another one that I picked up of a Disney couple and it's Jack and Sally and I just love the way that people draw these two like I have so many art prints of Jack and Sally and I love the way that they capture them and I when I saw this in her shop I knew that I had to pick this up as well look at his hand on her waist <sighs> love it here is another Anastasia print that she actually included for free in the package um, when I ended up messaging her telling her how much I loved her stuff and that I placed an order she said that she put something in there for me as a surprise and I guess because she knew that I loved Anastasia she decided to put Anastasia in her iconic blue dress here is one of Esmeralda I love the way that she captured her I'm gonna be buying a Jim Shore of Esmeralda soon so I'm gonna be placing that with this print right next to it I love it 
she did a good job with this one as well. Here are just some scenery pieces that I think are gonna look so beautiful on my shelf once they're framed. This one is of Cinderella's carriage, and this one is of the rose, the enchanted rose that the enchantress put places um, when she curses Beast. So this next one I bought in an 8x10 and the reason why I bought it in an 8x10 is because during Halloween I am going to be changing my shelves up and I want to make sure that whatever I put like in my background you guys can see fully and I think an 8x10 is a perfect size. This is of The Corpse Bride and I love and adore this movie. It's actually one of my favorites right next to Nightmare Before Christmas, although Nightmare Before Christmas will always be number one. I just think she captured her so beautifully and I do have Funkos of Victor and, oh my god, I forgot her name. I forgot The Corpse Bride's name. Emily, I think? So I'm gonna be placing those Funkos right in front of this. It's just gonna put the whole thing together, so I really love it. Last but not least, this is the last one that I got, also in an 8x10 and because it is a bell and beast and they are my favorite couple ever even though I have like a lot of favorite couples but they are number one I just love the way that she captured them and I think it's gonna look so beautiful with all of my other Beauty and the Beast pieces so that was pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys I highly recommend checking her shop these are so beautiful I don't even know how many oi 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 ordered <laughs> how many I ordered <laughs> one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11 pieces. <laughs> yeah, so this is what happens to me when I find a small shop that like makes something beautiful. I want to support them and I just want everything. So yeah, so I will place her link down below if you want to go check out all of her amazing pieces. There's definitely something that you're gonna find that you'll like. All right, everybody, that is pretty much the entire haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know um, what you liked in this haul, if there's anything that you wanna get from what you saw. I definitely recommend checking out all of these uh, items. Honestly, like anything that I show you on this channel, I 100% support. So definitely go check out the small shop. If you like the Cakeworthy shirts, go ahead and go check out Cakeworthy. I'm not sponsored by Cakeworthy, even though I would love to be sponsored by Cakeworthy. I think you guys will find something that you like in any of these shops. Thank you so much, damsels, for watching. I hope wherever you are in this world, you are having a magical day. Bye!